This is going to be an unboxing and first impressions review of the Mats Incorporated Bristle World's Best Outdoor Mats. 1.5 foot by 2.5 foot. So that's 18 inches by 30 inches. And it says aluminum frame, but um, I don't think that's right. We'll take a look. It costs about $70. So it comes in a special box that's uh, from the manufacturer, not from Amazon. That's how it was shipped by Amazon here. And this is how it uh, arrived here. And one thing to note on the box is it says, caution before unrolling mat, bring to room temperature, do not stand on end. So it's been sitting in the house at room temperature. And here is the mat. Let's just set it down for a moment on the ground. So let's take a quick look at this mat and how it's made. And it's pretty heavy, so it should stay in place pretty well. There's no rubber on the back particularly, but there are these rubber bumpers that are elevated from the rest of the slats. So those should keep it in place and stop it from moving. So that might act as like rubber feet. And they're here, they're here. You can see they stick out. So those will, pro those will touch the ground first and those are what, gonna, are what gonna keep it from sliding around because these are rubber and soft. Um, this is not aluminum. This front piece, it is definitely PVC and it's even marked on the, on the box. I, yeah, here it is. BSM 18 by 31 black bristle mat black PVC. So this is not the aluminum version. This is a, a PVC version. And I think the black PVC indicates that it's the front and the back pieces are black PVC instead of aluminum. Because I think these are always, I think these oh, p intermediate pieces or slats are always PVC because that's where the bristles go into. So that's how they manufacture that. They can't, it'd be more difficult to make those out of aluminum and shove bristles in there. So I'm not really concerned about that because in the, uh, that, that these pieces are PVC instead of aluminum because in the description it said they were aluminum and um, it also showed them as, as being silver and I prefer the black color and it would have been these two pieces, this, this back piece too. I prefer the black color. If it were anodized black aluminum, what's going to happen is aluminum is going to get scratched by rocks and debris and stuff like that and then it's going to look like a scratched up black aluminum versus the PVC is black all the way through. Here you can see on the edge, it's black all the way through. So if this gets scratched, it's still gonna stay black. So I think the PVC will stay, will remain better than the aluminum over time in terms of appearance. Look at how it's fastened together. So this is the underside of the mat. You have these cables that run from one side to the other and there's three of them, one on each side and one in, and one in the middle. And these cables are hopefully stainless and they're terminated by these barrel nuts with a set screw on the end. So here they're terminated inside of this channel in the front, like that. And then in the back, they're terminated here. And the ones in the back have like a hex head machine screw instead of the set screw. And so that clamps down onto the cable and is makes it also replaceable. Like if the cable ever broke or something, you could get another cable and thread it back through there and replace it. That would be a good bit of work to thread the cable all the way through here and replace that. But uh, hopefully that never happens. Oh, here it's different actually. Here, here the center one is using a a uh, set screw. No, what they did is they tightened it until they snapped the head off of the the hex machine screw. So there's no set screw in there. There's Snap the head right off. The other side is just a, a flat head. Now that we've looked at how this mat is constructed uh, in detail, I want to show you the reason why I selected this mat for this area. And specifically it's because one of the reasons is that this area is like often wet when it rains and it stays wet and there's um it's just uh, even though there's a little bit of a covering above the door it um, splashes and stays wet and if we put a mat back here the mat is always wet it takes days to dry uh after rain it uh it 
keeps it wet underneath so the wood is always wet even days after it rains you walk in your feet are wet so you always have to remove the mat to hang it up to let it dry this mat is there's nothing to absorb water in it it's solid slats with brushes on top here you can see the brushes um, side detail of the brushes I'm gonna have to measure the length of those brushes um, I'm gonna say like about three-eighths of an inch or so is how long they are <clears throat> So also the, the slats, so any debris and water is going to fall between the slats and then go down below through the deck or the debris will just sit there and you can clean it up later but it's going to fall through the slats, it's not going to sit on top so when you wipe your feet on here it's always going to be cleared out of debris. Uh, also like I pointed out earlier is that the slats don't directly touch the ground. The rubber donuts in the, sp the spacers touch the ground and therefore the slats won't be in contact when there's water underneath so it's going to dry out and it's going to allow it to dry out underneath you're not just going to get these like areas where water stays under the slats so you can see like when I push down on it there's a little bit of motion because of the slat being just a tiny bit higher than the than the floor below it <clears throat> Okay, so this is what the mat looks like. Like I said, it's black PVC on the front and the back, which is actually kind of nice. And we're going to slide up against the, the doorway here. It's definitely a hefty, hefty mat. Um, I mean, it's not that bad, but perfect size. This is the perfect size for the doorway here. And I just wanted to talk about um, quickly about the price and why this is why I'm not disappointed that this is not aluminum. Some people could say, oh, it's not aluminum, it's cheaper. Well, the price of this mat was $69. What I noticed is that the ones that were definitely aluminum on Amazon were uh, over $100. So uh, I don't think that aluminum versus PVC justifies like the extra $40 plus of cost because aluminum is not that expensive in, in an extrusion form like this. Um, but I actually prefer the PVC because I think it will be more durable than aluminum Although some people think think that aluminum is getting higher quality. I really like the way this looks here I think it, I think it looks nice. I think it fits in perfectly with the doorway. It's like the perfect width for the doorway and The most important thing is this is right now We're setting this on the back porch and we'll probably get one for the front too But we're always outside and when we come back in we're always dragging in stuff the kids are dragging in stuff so now you can just easily wipe your feet off before you come in and it feels like it does a really good job and then dirt is going to fall between the cracks so it's not going to sit on top of the mat and then you're going to drag it in again later it's going to should fall in between there um, does this replace a boot scraper for not a lot of dirt i think it does but you're not going to you're not going to be removing uh caked up mud from the side of your boots with this definitely get an appropriate boot scraper for that but I think just for for shoes and stuff in general this will be a huge improvement and even for boots uh, it's a big improvement over a standard carpet nice thing is you can also go to the side like you can go like this which is more difficult to do with like a boot scraper I've seen some comments previously of other mats that have bristles on top where people, especially people who are older, said that uh, it felt really weird to stand on the bristles. And I think the bristles were longer and it probably felt like it was shifting under your feet. I don't really feel that with this. I think the bristles are a little bit shorter on this one, which means that maybe it doesn't clean as deep. But I think that it's uh, probably more durable and you don't feel like there's a weird shifting feeling under the feet. It just feels like a mat. It feels fine to walk on it. I don't feel like unstable or anything. <laughs> what do you all think? Rough and soft. Rough and soft? Mm -hmm. This carpet is hard mm -hmm. because these little dots are very hard. I can't even push one down. Also, apparently kids find it fun to use, so uh, 
going to help keep the kids from dragging stuff inside. Even though we do remove the shoes at the entrance, it's still going to help. This is the old boot scrubber that we had to have next to the door. And this is what the mat looks like after it rains out uh, here. So you can see that there is water at the bottom of the brushes below the base of the bristles. And uh, I'm sure like, you know, the bristles have absorbed a tiny bit of water, but um, all the water kind of passes through. It doesn't stay soaked. And if you look underneath, if we lift this up, um, there's some little bit of water pull up underneath but most of it is drained away so just kind of under the front edge and the side over here so the front edge will will uh, has the most contact surface area so there's the most water remaining under there but I think that should dry up like the Sun hasn't come out yet if the Sun did come out I think that should dry up pretty quickly 